Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial about uh, Java Swing. In previous tutorials we learned about uh, uh, Swing containers like uh, frames, pins and panel. In this new series of tutorial we will start learning also new components and also we will start learning uh, event listeners and layouts. Uh, so in this tutorial I will learn you how to, I'll teach you how to use a component called jbutton. Now let's start from creating a new class. And I'll name my class button. Okay, let's delete these and this one. And also, uh, from now and on, we are going to call swing utilities invoke later method from swing utilities class. Uh, all swing graphical user interface uh, should be created and updated, updated on uh, event dispatch thread. So here I'm going to create a new runnable anonymous class okay. and I'll override run method here I'm going to create a JFrame okay. Also, I'm going to import JFrame. There it is. Now I'm going to create my JBot. Uh, here I'm going to pass text which will be displayed in our JBot. And text will be like a set. Okay. Now I will add my button on JFrame. Okay. And I'll call standard uh, methods from uh, JFrame class like uh, set default close operation method. And I'll pass JFrame dispose and close as an argument. Also I'll call pack method and in the end I'll call set visible method. Okay, true. Here it is. Now let's uh, run this to see what we have. And here it is, our J frame with uh, J button inside. So when we click on button, uh, something uh, should happen. But uh, in this case, uh, uh, we didn't implement any listener, event listener. So our button doesn't do anything. Uh, next thing I want to show you is uh, how to set a few features for your button, like uh, font of text inside of your button. I'll call, oops, button. I'll call set font method from J button class, and here I'm going to pass new font, and I'll say serif style will be font plain, and size will be. 18. Okay, let's run this. And here it is. Uh, font is changed and button is a bit uh, larger, which depends on uh, size of text inside of it. Okay, uh, next feature I would like to show you is how to, how to enable or disable your button. So I'll call set enabled method and here I can pass false or true as an argument and let's pass false 
Okay, let's run it. And as you can, as you can see, our button is uh, disabled. We can't click on it. And let's fix this to true. And last thing I want to show you is how to set icon on your button. Let's also comment this, okay? And uh, before that, uh, what you are going to do is to create a new package inside of your source folder, and you will name your package like uh, com icon as I did, and you will copy uh, some icons and paste it inside of this package. And also be aware that uh, Java doesn't support ICO uh, format. It supports, it supports uh, PNG, uh, JPG, and so on. And let's call set icon method. And I'll say new image icon. Also, let's import image icon from Java Swing. Here I'm going to say button, which is the name of our class. And I'll say dot class and dot get resource. And here I'm going to pass URL to our icon. I'll say com slash icon slash set. PNG. Okay, let's run this. And here it is. We have icon and text on right side. So this is it for this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial where I'm going to show you how to handle events with your uh, button. Bye.